Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Let Us Stray. My name is Mike, and today I'm going to be... I swear this dog does this every time I turn on the camera. Oh, he's something special, I tell you what. Hey guys, welcome back to Let Astray. My name is Mike, and today we are in the beautiful uh, Brunswick, Georgia at the Coastal RV Park. Uh, we just got here about a day or two ago, and I noticed when I was looking into our battery compartment, one of the hydraulic lines has a bubble in it. So today we're gonna go and replace that, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Okay, so this is my battery compartment. Battery's down here. We have our hydraulic uh, fluid reservoir. And as you can see here, this is the line that we're going to be replacing. This bubble does not need to be there. And I'm going to show you where this leads to and uh, how to disconnect it. Okay, so now we're in the front storage compartment of the fifth wheel. And I'm just going to follow that line all the way down. <sighs> So over here, and now we go from the front compartment over to our propane storage. I've already removed those, this way it's a little easier to get in and out. And let me show you what I did here. Um, I've had to replace this hose once before, so in order to do so, um, I cut a nice hole out here using an oscillating tool, and as you can see, it comes out right there perfectly. Okay, so right now we're right underneath the hydraulic jack uh, looking up towards uh, the hydraulic hose. And um, what you should be doing right now is taking a tape measure, going from the bottom all the way up to the top of that hose so you can get a reference to where it is you need to cut. This way you can access it a lot easier. Okay, so once you've made the cut and you're ready to remove the hydraulic hose, um, I do recommend pushing in all your slides. Um, make sure your hydraulic jacks are up. And um, if you don't have a truck for some reason, um, which is what I use, I use my truck to, uh, to support the fifth wheel, uh, you can use some cinder blocks, or if you have some heavy duty jack stands, put those underneath and use that as a stabilizer. Once you get it started, you should be able to just twist it off with your hands. And there we have it. Got the hydraulic hose all set and ready to go. Now, just gonna head on down to our local hydraulic shop, have them custom make this bad boy for us, and then we'll come back and we'll put it on. All right, so we're back from Bridgestone Hose and Power. Got this hose here uh, for just under $76. Um, it is a slightly different hose than we originally had on the RV. This is a conductive hose rated for 5,800 PSI. The original hose we had on, that orange thing, that was a non-conductive hose, only rated for 3,000 PSI. So I'm hoping this one will last a lot longer and will prevent air bubbles uh, in the future. So let's hook it up and see if it works. Um, now that I feel better, uh, we've gone ahead. Uh, we have connected our hoses. The hoses look good. There are no leaks. Next, what you're going to want to do is take your jacks and just extend those all the way to the ground uh, and then retract them a couple times. You're going to want to do this about four or five times. And by doing this, you're going to help um, take some of that air that's trapped in that hose and uh, get rid of it. 
So after you've done that, um, you might want to sit here and add a little bit of ATF fluid depending on where your level is at on your reservoir. Um, I just added a couple extra uh, ounces. Um, this is what my RV calls for. Yours may be a little different, so just check with your owner's manual. And honestly, that's about it. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, fairly simple to replace a hydraulic hose on your RV. Um, only cost about $75. Um, so just do it yourself. Don't go and, you know, call up the RV guy or take to a shop and wait, you know, weeks, maybe even months to get something repaired that you can do yourself in maybe 10 minutes. So um, I think the longest part was just driving to and from the hydraulic shop. So I uh, hope you guys found this informative. Once again, my name is Mike with Let Us Stray. Um, if you did like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And for more videos similar to this, check out this link up here. I'll see you next time.